The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. And we will get this market up. Sorry about this, folks. I get in just a little bit late into this studio. We got a positive market to start things off, right? We got G20, man. We got, we got a lot of action going on this morning. There's no doubt. Come on, baby. <laughs> oh, my God. It's coming. It's coming. Market waits for no one. There we go. Okay, Dow Industrials right now, uh, we get the Dow trading up, uh, trading down 25, NASDAQ up 49, S&P's up 10, gold contract down uh, $8, trading at 14.07 an ounce. We get silver off 12 cents, $15.17 an ounce. Light sweet crude, $59.33, and we get uh, numbers this morning? No, Natural we get gas numbers this morning. Natural gas, okay. Notes and bonds, we get the 10-year note. Up four ticks, 127.23. 30-year bond up six, 155.05. And uh, good old King Dollar. King Dollar is out there trading at the uh, 95 point. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade Think or Swim, as we do every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, if you want to understand option, option strategies, futures, great program every trading day right here, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. If you haven't test-driven yet the Think or Swim platform, great time to do it. Hit that banner on TFNN, bring it up. They'll allow you to trade with paper money each and every trading day. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. Here we go. Here you we know, this, is the, this is the last day before things get a little bumpy. Yeah. We, we, you know, we've got a lot of euphoria in this market with the G2, even with the Boeing news today. Think what yeah. this Dow would be up if it wasn't for Boeing down, you know, 2.7%. Two, 2 yeah. yeah. So pretty pretty big move here in Boeing, and this market seems to be shrugging off. There's a lot of G20 euphoria. I think here's the thing. Xi Jinping kind of released some of his talking points of what he's looking for here, like Tommy just mentioned in the uh, in the update. Yeah, and I think that's points. given people a sense that, oh, that's not too bad. Okay. But, but here's the thing. I think the theme, if you're Trump going into this meeting, the theme should be, that all sounds great. You first. Yeah, right? uh, you in, first. A, in any negotiation, exactly. Right. You first. <laughs> yeah. We'll do everything you want, but you first. Yeah. It, there's, there's, you, you don't want to be the first one to, to, to go. Exactly. There's, there's, there's exactly. No, there's, because we have a history of abiding by these deals. And China, Iran, uh, North Korea, they don't have a history of abiding by them. So it's real simple. You first. Yes. Once we see you're, you're abiding by it, we'll, we're all in. Yeah. It's certainly going to be. Uh, I mean, I guess the real kicker here is that is that the three extra three hundred billion going to go on or not? You know, right? Um, and do they come? You know, if you're looking, you know, everyone should understand that the expectations for this should be tempered down. There's right. no hard deal get, get, getting done this weekend. But what you're hoping for is a handshake, an agreement, no new tariffs going on, and a commitment to keep talking and get it the rest of the way. That's all you're looking for for this meeting, in my opinion. If you're looking for more than that, you're you're naive, I believe. No, sure. I, listen, I, I remember when NAFTA got done. You know, And, folks, these deals, I mean, I'm talking about the first NAFTA even with Mexico. You're talking years. You're not. Yeah. I mean, once it, you know, you're talking a deal like this. You're talking like two or three years just to almost get to the bottom. Sure. The, you know, the table. Definitely. So, and the, the 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 cool thing was would be if things just calm down a bit. And and I my take, right. Kevin, is that it's going to because what has happened. I would say you put another 300 billion on there in the finance business. So the way I look at the world in finance and politics. They're the two vicious businesses in the world, right? right? And now what has happened, though, the, the tariffs have got into the finance business, and to me, the finance business is always winning. So I don't think they're going to go in because once you start hitting 
the big corporations, it's like, really? You can really hit me like that? I don't think so. Um, yeah. You know, so w when when it really comes down to it, you know, we'll see. We'll see if that's how it shakes out. But um, I, I think, uh, well, let's let's we'll we'll find out pretty quickly, man. <laughs> yeah, I thought the GDP number that came out this morning was pretty much in line, but the consumer spending part of the GDP report was a little light, frankly. So that was a small disappointment. But I think this market right now is trading off some. G20 news that does not look like a bridge too far. And I think that is making people a little bit optimistic about this. And, uh, that, you know, that, that, that being said, we're waiting for some uh, inflationary numbers tomorrow and income and outlays, and then it's off to the races with. But if you think in an up market that the VIX is going to budge, don't. It's not going anywhere because yeah. I think speculation about what's going to happen is just going to keep growing. And I think this – I expect this VIX Friday at the close to be still higher than 16 or at least high 15th. So let's put it that way. Yeah. Yes. No, no, I can see that. You know, when I just got caught in traffic on the way in here and what was so intriguing and, – and I've been seeing this, okay, but like this morning because the traffic was going so slow, I got to see a lot more stores, right? Mm -hmm. And – I mean, I get a feeling everywhere in this country, everything is filling up. You just don't see anything vacant. I mean, things that have been vacant for years, you know, all of a sudden, bang, there's no more, you know, people are spending money, man. They're opening stores. They're taking that risk. That's you a know, big Tom, deal. That, that is so interesting that you said that because I was driving through a town, like two towns over from me in suburban Chicago, and I noticed that this strip mall was empty. Okay. I'm, I'm like, well, that's odd. Yeah. Why is that, you know, that in this economy, why is that strip mall empty? Well, I look back a week later, they tore the whole thing down. They're building a brand new one. Yeah. <laughs> that's they, why it was empty. There you go. Right. Yeah. So yeah. It, it wasn't what I thought. My original, um, you know, my, my, my original uh, view on it, that why is that empty? Well, yeah, they're, they're building a brand new one. Right. That's why it's empty. Which, which is so cool. And then, then right. the question, and it doesn't seem that people are over their head. I mean, people aren't hawking their houses just to go buy boats and all this. Right. You know what I mean? You're not getting the house bubble that you had back in 2006, 7, 8. Right, right. So they really have money when they're spending it, and they're taking risk. And what happens, folks, is that if you have an economy that's taking risk, you'll, you'll go forward. I mean, if some people are going to make money, some people are going to lose. But in general, if the cash flow is going in the economy, well, guess what? You know, um, it's all about cash flow. I mean, you got to make money. But the bottom line is to get the cash flow, well, guess what? That patience, and as you're building foundations, that money comes, you know? So it's going to yeah. be, you know. You know, guys, banks, we always think that banks start earning season. And earnings on banks are just a couple weeks away, frankly, for next earnings season. But Nike, which comes out after the bell today, we always, traders always view that as the end of earnings season, right? They're usually the last big name okay. to do earnings. And we have Nike today after the bell. That, that should put a big bow around this quarter's earnings season. Yeah. No, I, I you know, there's, there's no doubt about that, man, because what does happen is no doubt, folks, is that, uh, you know, they import, I mean, Nike, Nike doesn't make anything in the United States. Right. <laughs> you know, so we'll know where those numbers are. And we got it up. Expected move, $4, $83 stock. Ooh, 5% right move. 5%. Okay. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Folks, you want to know those expected moves? You want to know options upside down, futures? Every trading day, right here, 11 to 12, 45 minutes. Kevin, you have a great one, safe one. Uh, great weekend, man. Look forward to speaking next Tuesday. Thanks for having me on, guys. Have a great day. You Thank too, you, Kevin. Stay right there. Tommy and I are coming right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Don't miss the last chance to sign up for the TAS Profile Scanner at just $97 a month. Starting July 1st, we're raising the price to $197 a month. This is your last chance to lock in the $97 rate for as long as you remain a subscriber. And as always, new subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk. Don't miss this last chance to sign up at the low rate of just $97 a month. Sign up for the TAS Profile Scanner today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrial is down 35. Nasdaq is up 42. S&Ps are up nine and a half. We got to go look at Bitcoin because I was actually on the air. I was just coming off the air. Yeah, it was like 4:45 yesterday yeah. afternoon. I didn't see it until after your show. I pulled up the den. I was, and uh, they were talking about it, and I pulled up the chart. And my goodness, man, right? Look at that move. So let's just zoom it in to get on. Um, and so that bar is the 4:28. Four Yes, and what are we looking at? Ten minute bars. Okay. Yeah. So right around. Uh, I wonder why these are ticking on weird like minutes, but yeah, four. So four thirty, four four twenty five. Um, man, and look at the bounce that it got, right? I mean, that bounce is up to thirteen four from eleven eight, so sixteen hundred dollar right. bounce. Right. And it started. What was the high? Let's go ahead. Wait, wait. Uh, the, just, the original just, one. Just sure. Not watching TV. So okay, sure. The high was uh, thirteen thousand eight fifty. So when it went south, folks, and and. 20 minutes, it went to 11,800. Yes. My God. I know. And, and then, then it went back up to 13. Four. Yes, right. And Before, then it, now got, it's down it got croaked 11, all six. night. Yeah. You know, and when you take a look at this, what you're going to have, uh, th what's interesting about this, this is like, look at those bars. You know, years ago I had Joe Napoli on a lot, and I'm sure a lot, a lot of trades are on. This is a classic Joe Napoli railroad track. So we'll see how this shakes out afterwards. Uh, you know, wh what he likes to do with something like this. Is that the you have railroad tracks, and then what ends up happening on the next leg up, you'd sell into it. Um, so we'll see where it happens, man. We'll see if we get a leg up. Yeah, this thing no, might be oh going. baby, I'm telling you, man. Um, that might have been parabolic high, and we might get another 80% pullback. Yeah. Um, Oh yeah, that's what we got that's... from twenty thousand. You went from twenty thousand, almost three thousand. You lost seventeen thousand um, of the twenty. Uh, pretty yeah, intense. Pretty intense. And when we were looking at it, when you brought it up last night on Bitfinance, right? Is that what yeah, it was? Yeah, one of the exchanges. It, it, on the it crypto. seemed, you know, we don't know how these volumes work because they're all different exchanges. But it seemed that once it started going south, all the volume was on the way down. You yeah, know? yeah. yeah. They, there were volume spikes, basically. Right. Um, so this is the crypto watch site. It's got all of them, and this is where you have to choose an exchange because they do trade so differently. So I think I had went in here to the Bitfinex. 
And this is, uh, so you can see that it does give you volume. What are we looking at here? We're looking at an hourly, and so there, that, that's a demonstration. So right. there's, there's your, um, we'll zoom it in, perfect. Yeah. I mean, you can see, excuse me, that volume. You know, so, so the, it, it correlates somehow, I think. I mean, be skeptical here. There's been yes, many articles for sure. that are written that for this sure. is just manufactured exactly. volume somehow. Well, when you, you, when, you did the, when you did the numbers, what happened is that Tommy had done the numbers, folks, and it was like, okay, hold it. If you sold, because remember you, you said so much was sold, so if you sold 20 million of it, you just brought the down yes. like a percentage. It's like, yeah. well, why wouldn't you keep selling so if you're what, a big institution? Just on this exchange at, at all, let's see, we'll put it on a 15-minute chart, all right? So there's there's a perfect demonstration. There's a 15-minute chart. Right. And I think, so the, the here are your volumes, all yep. right? So they're correlating to, that's a 1,000 Bitcoin, Yep. Yep, 1,068 Bitcoin. Yeah, 1,068 Bitcoin. Right. And so a thousand Bitcoin is ten million dollars. Right. It's trading at ten. Yeah, ten million dollars. Right. So that's all you need is ten million dollars. Right. To, to whack it to like be that. To all of that volume. Right. And meanwhile, you'd move the price of Bitcoin twenty to twenty-five percent to the downside. Right. Now the problem is you'd have to buy it back. Right. To recoup those profits. Right. And if you buy back a thousand Bitcoin, it might send it back up on the three thousand. That's that's yeah. a, you know if you can figure out how to sell it and drive it down and buy it back without driving it back up, you'd be you'd be a millionaire. But you can see how not a lot of money when you think of it's not it's especially not. when everyone's talking about That's it today. nothing everyone's talking you know and just right. imagine 10 million dollars to move a market everyone right. you know it's on the right. front page we're reading yeah. about it you get a bloomberg article up here right this is talking about uh novogratz so just talking yeah. about the swings man and that i guess that uh when did it say sold uh, he said sales yesterday sold on wednesday wish he had sold more um yeah i bet yeah i mean it's, it's so he's looking it's, to buy back at ten thousand yeah pretty wild yeah i mean you almost sold it off at fourteen thousand. that's where you got to recognize some of those uh oh yeah some of that stuff we have going on and look who we got he's joined the conversation we got our man paul from henderson nevada what's going on brother good morning gentlemen how you guys doing today morning, doing paul. great man yourself doing awesome man hey tom man i really got to thank you for putting this great network together i called the fibonacci master himself mr larry pezzavento a couple days ago and we were looking at the long-term weekly chart of Bitcoin. And if you pull that up, man, it ran right into that 618. And wow. there you go. I mean, it was almost to the button. Oh, so from the oh. highs, from the last highs to where we were? Oh, that's so exactly. cool. Let's bring, that's, let, me, let me put a, that, I see what you're saying. I, okay, so I believe what Paul's saying, folks, is that from the last high to the low, I think it was a weekly. To where we that. are. Yeah, I'll do sure. a weekly. Okay, so what? Three years that enough? Yeah, yeah, that's enough. Is that, oh my God, this is too much. If that, yeah, I, I suspect that that's what you're talking about. Look at that. Yep, yeah, it just popped uh, right into it right? over. Yeah. yeah, so I can see, yeah, that's right pretty there. wild, man. Yeah. You know, so, you know what's so cool that, about this? It was at 13. Go ahead. I'm no, sorry. no, go ahead, go ahead. No, it was, um, I believe Larry said it was at 13.5. So, um, yeah, that's somewhere. Yeah, we approximated. Over, I, this one's coming like 13.2, but yeah. it's right in that range, right? Yeah, so we, um, I overlooked that. So it was so great to be able to talk to him. And uh, we lightened up there at 13.5. Nice. And, Congratulations, uh, man. That's intense. 2,000 bucks above where it's at. It's, it's right amazing now. How, um, how these cryptos follow the Fibonacci's. It's like unbelievable. Yes. And, the second indicator that I had where I knew I had to lighten up is that on the way up, I had so many personal friends that got smoked because they didn't understand trading in any sort of way. They just got caught up in the emotions. The animal spirits were going wild. Yes. Oh, Bitcoin's going to a million, blah, blah, blah. And I told them, I said, once we had those topping candles, this thing looked like it was going to have a major flush out. Yeah. Well, you know, they didn't listen. They got smoked. As we got down to that 3,000 range, I was pounding the table telling them that it's time to, uh, to get back into the game. And, of course, their emotions were on the other side. Ah, oh, no, it's going to zero, blah, right. blah, blah. Well, several of them called me yesterday oh. asking me if it's time to get in. So That's sad. I don't know how these Fibonacci's work, how this all got <laughs> figured out, but it's, there's something to it for sure. With the, the, it's so cool what you're saying, Paul, because what I've found is this. When you have volatile markets... The Fibonacci seem to be much more consistent. That's that's what's so cool. Like 2007, 8, 9, man, any type of volatile market, these Fibonacci's, man, they just 
bang out. And that's up on down. It's like because no one has real control over the market. Where when you get a steady up market, a steady down market, most of the time I'd say that the big banks have control over, you know, it is somewhat way. Do you know what I mean? Like, okay, because it's more orderly. Once it's unorderly, Fibonacci overtakes it all, man. Um, pretty quickly, too. You know, so that's yeah, a beautiful thing. Good. You know, yeah, the, the real question so now, now is going to be, okay, what kind of retracement are we going to get? Do you know what I mean? So it's like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so we got to see if it's, if it's a really shallow retracement, like uh, you and Larry talked about that. If it's only a 382, which yep. can be a dramatic move, you know, because Bitcoin, I mean, it's so volatile. So a 382 could be several thousand points. Yeah, um, I mean, just, exactly. we just put it on there, Paul, and it's like around 9,500 is a 382 of just the run from December low up to where we hit uh, right. maybe, even, maybe even a little higher. As, yeah. Uh, but 9,500, 9,000 9, and change, yeah. Right. But we... We'll be watching that number like a hawk, gentlemen. Thank you so much. Okay, man. Thanks, Have a great Paul. one. Have a safe one. Thanks for the call, man. Congratulations, man. I love it. Thank That's you. great. Bye. Tommy and I come right back, folks. Hi, folks. Hi, Tom folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, natural gas. So we got the inventories coming out right now, rising 98 billion cubic feet. Estimate had been 100, so pretty close. Okay. We'll see how that market is hitting it. Jumping over here. Give me a moment. We'll pull up that chart, get into the commodity section. Natural gas. We're looking at the August contract, and we're trading at 231. And 
a little bit of a reaction to the upside. We've been trading higher. We're about sitting at about 226, 226.5. We, uh, on that news, spiked from 230 up to 232 and change. Not bad. I'm um, sitting at 231 on that number. So we'll see what happens. Natural gas been cheap for a while, though. It yeah. I mean, that's even uh, backing things up a bit. You know, this is uh, towards the lower end of the range. Maybe we can pull up the contract. Uh, yes. Because really, when you look at, I mean, we're pretty close to as cheap as it's, it's been. Yes. No, it's 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 pretty amazing. Actually. It is. Look at this. There we yeah. go. Right. So oh. you did have that thrust last week, kind of. Yeah. But. And if I take this back, I mean, you want to see this on a continuous contract. Um, you know, you go back quite a way. Yeah, we got plenty of natural gas. Yeah. Watch this. I'll go back 50 years <laughs> on a quarterly basis. Is it thinking? Yes, it is. I'm not sure how far they're going to bring there it back. There we go. There okay. it is. Look at that. Back to 90. So we get 30 years. Yeah. Okay. And you're at the lower end of the whole deal. I mean, go back to 1992 and you were a dollar. A dollar to buck 40. Gets up to 270 and 92. Look at these spikes, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. But it is. I mean, you can. You don't even have to draw a line. That pointer's no. drawing the line for you in yeah. terms of, you know, that's, that's where, where, where's the, you know, linear gr regression low? Well, it's like right there, man, you know? And yeah. yeah, that's, now that's 145, which is 70 cents, you know, below where we're trading at right now. But when you look at it in a long-term chart, it's a blink of an eye away from where we're at right now. It is. Now. You know, it is. yeah, it especially is. when we just had that spike of all the craziness where the people were put out of business to uh, a high of almost five dollars. Yeah, remarkable, man. That is remarkable. I mean, that's only what two quarters ago. Yeah, yeah. Man. Let's take a look at the uh, some of the higher volume equities and see what we have uh, going on out here. Uh, so you get advanced micro up by 65 cents. Uh, Micron's up 73. Those chips are still going. Yeah. Oh, Conagra Brands. Okay, so what do they sell? Let's see what this is. This is down 226. I think I see after quarterly, maybe they came out with earnings. Yeah. So Conagra. Okay. Yep, Packaging, so they have their earnings retail, this morning. Meals, condiments. We'll pull up their brands because yeah. I'm curious, even if it's during the break. Right. Um, because I think it's a lot of household items you wouldn't, you know, like. That we know. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. Look at that number, though. They must have sold off some. 15 they billion. Sure now they're down to 9.5. Yeah. Yet their earnings have stayed exactly the same. Pretty interesting. Yeah. And then if we technically look at this. Yeah. Okay. So this wants to come back to its strength Excuse all the way me. from uh, probably the last earnings. I was going to say, it's got some volatility on the earnings, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what it looks like. 20, you're at 26, 22 is game. And. Yeah. Maybe just even the top one is their quarterly results fall, sh fall short of estimates. Sales of 2.61 billion in the fourth quarter ended May 26th. Analysts anticipated 2.66. Um, let's see what they got. Key insights. Blaming intensified promotional competition in certain unspecified categories. Let's see. Okay. Weak performance in Ardent Miller's flower joint venture. So oh, they, they just get, they, okay, there it is. Bird's Eye, Duncan Hines, yeah. Wishbone. Yeah, yeah, we, we. There's a lot. There's there a lot. I mean, yeah, I, okay, right. Um. Yeah. yeah, even that pinnacle, I think that's a lot but of frozen it is. The, um, vegetables, exactly. meals. Exactly, the frozen yeah. peas. Yeah, right, yeah, right, no, right. No, totally, yeah. 877-927-6648. Yeah. How about Boeing? We check yeah, it out Boeing. because they're getting hit um, pretty it, remarkable. I, I saw the reports coming out last night. Down with, uh, 829. You know, basically, the and I didn't see the full details last night. I didn't check into it, but let's see... Uh, New risk. That's that's really what tumbled after tests on the 737 Max revealed a new safety risk, promo, uh, prompting U.S. regulators to order additional design changes to the grounded jetliner. Not the kind of news you want to Listen hear. Listen to this. This is oh, this next sentence is insane, folks. The Federal Aviation Administration discovered that data processing by the flight computer on the jetliner could cause the plane to dive in a way that pilots had difficulty recovering from sim from. In, in similar tests. In the simulator in, tests. That's uh, yes. The, uh, all right. The, yeah. the simulator. According to two people. That's insane. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, I agree. Oh. I agree. Surprising. It's, it's only down eight dollars. That's the first time I had heard that exact detail. I agree. Um, 
Yeah, the FAA recently found a potential risk that Boeing must mitigate. The agency said in an emailed statement, I have to chuckle, I mean, come on, what, what, right? This is crazy, man. So, well, the issue did not involve the man, uh, maneuvering characteristics augmentation system, which had been linked to the two incidents, accidents since October. It could produce an uncommanded dive similar to what occurred in the crashes. That's what I was going to say. I mean, it's remarkable that because that's what's been happening is that the computer's taken over and dive in the plane. Right. So this is another issue. So what do you can, do if you're a pilot? This is another issue that can cause that to happen unrelated to the first issue. Yeah. Um, and these planes are so new, you don't know how much other software is inside there that basically is giving commands to the control system. And it says, the implication is that this is a different software in a different con control computer that's presenting similar symptoms. When you control an aircraft with computers, which we do now, you've always got potential for problems. Oh my God. Yeah. That's pretty intense, man. It, it, it's, it is. It's pretty intense really understanding that, you know, computers are running planes. <laughs> yeah. And this is, um, what was the company, this IAG? Remember they ordered 200 MAX jets at the Paris Air Show last week, and we were saying, man, what did they get in return for that? You know, right? That's uh, right. Because, That's... because quite a confidence boost for a plane right now that nobody has confidence in outside of Boeing, I would say, as they need to, uh, said they had no comment on the FAA's latest findings. Yeah, I, I imagine that yeah. um, man or woman, whoever was running that show over there, getting that phone call, was not a happy camper. No, um, no. But not... guess what? I mean, that's it, it's something that they should have been aware of, as in you order 200 planes of a plane with that history right now that's still not ready to fly. Yeah. That's a gamble in its own right. You know, they're making that gamble. They made a... A calculated risk that they'd get a better deal if they bought those planes before they were back in action, and that's a risk that they're not ready. Oh, Amen. man. That's, yeah. That Ooh. is amazing. Let's go over to the dollar. So the dollar, folks, uh, looks to me like we're setting up a nice ABC structure on the way down. This is a nice little setup, particularly going into this weekend. So would you, you have it up 37 ticks this morning. You are at 7,900 contracts right now, so we're going to get light contract volume. You can see, you know, if we go back to the highs that were generated out here at the 18th of June, you're at 97,265. We had finally come down with volume. And yesterday, we did 12, 13,000 contracts. We had a hard time holding price. Now, we're at 79. We'll do another 13. That's, this is a nice little setup. And your projection, this is like two pennies from the high uh, of the 18th to the low of uh, Monday. Yes. Uh, Tuesday, rather. And uh, that's saying, okay, you can get down to 94. So it's going to be kind of, it's going to be pretty cool coming into that uh, G20, uh, watching these currencies and watching the metal market. Definitely. 877-927-6648. Dow. Dow Industrials are down 9. NASDAQ's up 49. S&Ps are up 10 and a half. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. 
Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Dow. Dow's down four, Nasdaq up 51, S&Ps are up 10 and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Jack Gleason, as we do every Thursday at 40 past the hour. Jack Gleason, what's going on, brother? Hey, guys, what is going on with you? Uh, outside of uh, we've had some torrential rain over here, I need to get out of the city again. I'm going to be heading <laughs> to Wisconsin this weekend uh, to visit my parents, but... Um, yeah, finally gold getting a little bit of a pullback here. So uh, I got a level that I want to go over with you guys just on the daily chart. Maybe, you know, I mean, what a freaking run. I mean, continuing from when the last time we talked, let's see, what was that, Thursday? And then, you know, we probably ran another 50 points from there. So yes. finally getting a, a, a pullback. Two daily, uh, daily red bars right here. Also the S&P. We got that G20. So I got a couple levels that I'm going to show you guys. Uh, as far as what I'm looking at, so why don't I just load up that screen here and see if I can figure this out real quick. Um, all right. You I know, as you're doing that too, Jack, it's Perfect, we got it. We were just uh, talking with uh, one of the uh, targets that uh, trades Bitcoin, and, uh, you know, what Bitcoin had done, it from the highs the, of uh, two years ago, to the lows, to the highs, it would just did a 0.618 retracement, just over that, you know? So it's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Bitcoin's actually really technical. I mean, I, yes. I, I don't really trade it, but, yeah, it, it is pretty technical. Maybe we'll, I, 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 I'll I just chart it sometimes because I think it's, like, on the breakdown, too, and everything, we were trading halfway back, back shorts as soon as the uh, futures basically came online. But um, in the S&P right now, you know, we're, we're in, in this range, and I kind of think... You know, if we can head higher, I'm looking at this 50% retracement short here. Okay. Uh, it's right at 2942 right now. So assuming we don't make a new low, if we make a new low, that would need to be adjusted. But, uh, I, you know, I see this a lot. We'll get these consolidations, a quick move higher, which is like a total fade. It also lines up with the low we broke down on a Tuesday. So I'm really looking for that as a potential uh, sell zone for the S&P on the higher time frame. And then we have uh, what I call a, you know, same anchor new high extension. I'll show you guys this. So there was, um, and this is, you know, more of a strange draw that's people who don't, aren't detailed Fibonacci draws wouldn't really understand. But the 5th of uh, June to high, and I'm going to delete this other draw, is actually what we held here um, on the 12th. So you can see we came right down to that 50% retracement. We had a little bit of selling pressure at the negative 23 and then the highs are basically that negative 61 up there at 2965 which was our high right so that same anchor to the new high i always like to watch especially when we have that good of a reaction 
Um, and this is the continuous futures contract. Okay. If you go to the September contract, we actually traded the 38% retracement to the tick um, and then caught a bid. But if, if we do break down, I'd really be liking to look at the 2897, which lines up with the beginning of the rally. I like to call it my leg starts because that's where the rally started. Uh, and that goes back to the 18th. So 2897 is a really big level for me if we do break down further. Yes. Um, obviously, we need to get below this uh, swing loaf here from the overnight session and, and yesterday's tape action here at uh, 2914, which is also important. Um, but yeah, that's what I got for the S&P on the higher time frame picture. And guys, if we can continue to break out here just to throw some uh, bigger targets for um, your uh, you know, people, your viewers, there is an upside S&P profit target that I have based on, it's measured from the dip of the 3rd of June that targets 3,000, uh, 3,064 half. So okay. when we do get that clear breakout, you know, we just peak through all time highs. But when we get that clear breakout, I'm going to be trying to get long on the S&P for a swing once we actually get, you know, a close above that above that daily high and then look to run it up to that 3064 uh, level if we can continue up and then uh, for gold this is the sequence I'm watching so I think I, think I might have had this up last week too or when I talked with you guys and it actually completed but this halfway back and then once again taking that high to high that 50% retracement is going to be 13 96.4 so this is that zone that i'm looking for you know potentially a longer term a uh, longer term trade yeah no I, I i like how it's trading man i mean we get the highs in with the uh, volume you pull back yesterday you had about five hundred thousand contracts we're 253 today which will bring it maybe around the same amount let me see what do we get that's kind of cool actually we only did we did 422,000 yesterday and rejected lower price and right now you know we get to 1401 you're at 1408 and this doesn't seem like it wants to get into lower price and i i kind of like how this dollar index is trading because it looks like it wants lower price so um what what are you looking at in the uh, nqs jack um so i'll show you the nq let me put that back up it's actually the same it's kind of interesting it is the same wait, screen am i sharing the right screen oh wait here we are um, it's actually the same sequence as the S&P uh, on the higher time frame. So let me go Off to the east. 18th, right? So the 18th is still the kicker, right? That's that's your that's your basically your. Um... So so I, I got uh, the bigger level lo lower for me in the NQ would be 75.33. If okay. we trade down, like that would be, you know, that major level I'm watching. So once again, it's th this extension I had in the S&P, which is from the high of the fifth. Yes. Uh, of June. So it actually, this, this you can see just how perfect this trade, just like the S&P. We basically went right off the 50, literally to that negative 61 to the tick. And when I see that, especially, I'm you know highly confident that the buy programs are pretty active uh, in, in that specific sequence. So I actually would. I actually I had a long position on uh, last time we talked Thursday. And I sold it that that seventy eight twenty. I don't know if um, uh, I went over this chart last Thursday, but that same anchor to the new high, you can see came right down uh, to its thirty eight two. And you right. know both the ES and the Nasdaq were bid on the September contract, which is going to be a slightly different draw because of rollover. Uh, but if we can come down to the continuous 75.35 and then 76.03 half of the major uh, support levels here, the continuation holding, I got targets at 82.82 on the higher time frame. Yeah, no, I, I can see that. That's, and with, you know, even the cues and the spy, that's where we took off, took the swing point out on the left hand side, and that's where you get those small ABC structures on the way up. So it is going to get interesting coming, kicking into July 4th. Yeah. We're at the end of the. You know, month and then you get July 4th. And markets love to run on July 4th for <laughs> some, some reason. Bottom line. All for America, baby. That's why. Yeah, that's right. For America. That's right. <laughs> you got to love it, man. You got to love it. Celebrate. Celebrate the birthday. You guys got any uh, big plans for the 4th of July? Yep. We got fireworks happening. <laughs> that's right. They're legal in Tampa. I got to go to, I got to go where Tommy lives to pick up the big, 
real nice ones. My county's got the real They do. Yeah, that's they what do. I like to see. That's they right, do. man. Totally. <laughs> you have a great one, a safe one, Jack. Later, guys. Have a good one. Thanks, okay. Jack. You too. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials down 15. NASDAQ is up 46. S&Ps are up 10 and a half. Gold's down 760. And we are going to be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrials down 20. NASDAQ is up 48. S&P's up 10 and a half. And uh, this is the last week, folks, of, if you want to take advantage of the TAS profile scanner. Uh, the scanner is going up to $197 on July 1st. Uh, as you come over to our website uh, at TFNN, just go into Featured Content. Uh, you'll see the TAS profile scanner. Um, uh, our man, Mr. Steve Dahl, did an amazing workshop the other night. Yeah. Uh, brings you through it. That's that was only eight days ago, I think. So fresh stuff, you know, just did it. Right. I think that was the 19th. If not, it was a week ago. A couple it, was, of it was a week ago last night. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, and so, yeah, I encourage everybody. $97 a month, great piece of software. Um, Steve and the team over at Taz, they're going to be selling this now for $197. Right. Across the board, everywhere that they sell it. And that's uh, starting July 1st. 
So right. it, it ties in well that that is a Monday. We're going to write it right up until Monday, and then that's it. And so, you, if you get the 97, folks, you're locked in for life. Yeah. That's what Steve said. He yes. was on the air. Right. So bottom line is No one's going to have their prices raised, so right. you're locked in at that price. If you're out there a current subscriber, don't worry about that. Nothing's going to change for you as well. Right. right. You're locked in at that right. rate. So get in there. Try it out. You still get a 30-day money-back guarantee. You get in there. You immediately gain access to that full hour-long webinar Steve just did. You yes. were in there as well. Right. And, um... You know, and if you're really apprehensive, right on the order page, you can check out some, kind of some of the videos to get a quick feel um, for some of the products. But I encourage you, these are all, you know, that's a minute and 45 seconds. That's two minutes and 40 seconds, all right? So brief glimpses, Steve does a full hour. So yeah. get in there, sign up, really right. get access to that hour-long workshop, and it'll walk you through, and then you decide whether you want to keep it. And if not, no harm, no foul. You, right. uh, you can ask for a money-back guarantee. Or else uh, so a quick, uh, quick natural gas, right? Ah, uh, sure. Yeah. It had, it see, had, had a little it? pop. We have it. I think I closed it. We we're sitting oh, okay. there. We were trading at 232. We'll pull it up. We got time as you as you wrap it up. 232 on the dot as we speak. Kind of there you go. Stay right there, folks. We got fast market coming up next. Then we get our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back in the afternoon. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, man. Bam! Hello, get him, folks.